back to the channel. Last week when we was getting ready to go camping, we discovered we had an issue with our gas lines. So we ended up having to cancel, order new parts, and now we'll bring you guys along as we change this. What we found was these lines, even though this camper is only five years old, they dry rotted. And they cracked out and everything. And the only thing I guess soon was because they sit inside of a hot box all the time, sun beating down on it, and they just deteriorated. So what we ended up doing is I went on Amazon and ordered stainless steel lines. Let's open that up. Okay, inside the kit that I got was dual stainless steel braided hoses and your thread tape. One thing about thread tape that I just learned recently by one of the subscribers, for gas, you want yellow tape. White tape is for water. So, something I'll learn moving forward. Maybe it's something you didn't know neither. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get ahead, we're gonna change this. Also, I've had some issues with that regulator freezing up and stuff. I've not been able to figure that one out. So we just went ahead and bought a new regulator. We'll just swap out the whole thing. Let's get started. First thing you do, make sure your tanks are turned off. You take your tanks off your RV and do this work, or you can even do it with it still on. It's not that big of a deal. The only tools you really need is a couple adjustable wrenches. That's all you really need. So get ahead and started. Thanks off. Thanks off. I'm not for sure if I said this already, but as far as these hoses, our RV is a quarter inch inverted flare is what they call them. Make sure that you have quarter inch pipe and you also have quarter inch inverted flare. Make sure you get the right ones. When you buy your new regulator, it'll come with these adapters already on it. This is a 3 8 pipe going into here. And it also has the adapter for the inverted flare fittings. So just keep that in mind when you're ordering, ordering new lines. You can see them in Walmart, Menards, any Home Depot. They'll have for gas grills. Them are typically pipe threads. And for your RV, you're going to want the inverted quarter inch flare. So since we're replacing this whole unit, we're just going to go ahead and take it off. your main gas line coming up from your camper and going out to your two outs. All that is, damn, that guy like a pipe double. We'll be right back. Let me grab a rag and clean this off a little bit. One bad thing about being an RV related channel and filming outside is you always have background noise. So if you heard the plane in the background, sorry about that. Then you hear some semis coming down the highway. So so basically let's go ahead and get this all cleaned off look like it this one might have already been replaced at one time because there's a bunch of gook on there that's not the proper name for it but it's like a liquid thread tape that you put onto it so let's get ahead take our two adjustable wrenches
There's our old one. Let me show you. Right there. You know, not only do you lose your propane, that could be a safety issue too. So you always want to make sure, like in the springtime, before you start up, you always want to make sure that these hoses are still pliable and everything. You don't have cracks like that. Now what we're going to do, take our yellow tape, put you a couple wraps on these okay well snug that down pretty decent what we'll do is after we get all this hooked back up, we'll go get some soapy water and we'll spray on it, make sure we have no leaks. So the next thing, next thing is to put two wraps of yellow tape on your leads. Go ahead and get them started. So there's one. We'll repeat the other. Now when you tape this, you want to make sure you don't get any tape over that hole right there. You just want the tape on the outer edge. Because you just want the, the you don't want to plug that hole or anything. And if gas is coming from here into here, it shoves it right into your regulator. Okay, what we're going to do is once I get this back on here, we'll get these all tightened back up and everything. I only had my tanks sitting facing forward to show this video at the start. We always run them with the nozzle coming back. I don't know if there's a standard or anything. The reason we do it this way, if there's any accident, nothing's actually coming in and hitting this hose. It's actually hitting the steel side of the cage. So that's why we do it like that. So let's get everything picked up. We'll put the tanks back on. Same way with this. Always hide my regulator on the back side. I mean, I know the jack will protect a lot of that. But if you're in a wreck, I'd much rather have as much protected with this gas than anything. Go ahead. Like these down tight. to where I can see them and then we'll go ahead we'll try to finish snugging these up the reason I get it where I want it before I tighten it into the regulator is because the hoses themselves, the steel braided hoses, have a swivel end on it. So I can get it located where I want it at and then tighten it to that position. We'll go over here and do the same thing over here. I located both of these gauges straight up. So when I open my flap, I can actually see how much gas is left in them. And let's go ahead and tighten this one. So as you can see, it's all nice and tight, nice and secure. My gauges are pointed out. I'll put the cover back on, I'll show you that. First we gotta do, get some soap and water and a spray bottle, 
and come out here and check these fittings make sure we have no leaks so let me go grab that I'll be right back out I got an old bottle a little bit of soap in there a little bit of Dawn soap so you can see what we're gonna do we'll turn on both tanks and then you spray every connection if you see any bubbles at all then you have to tighten that up a little more so don't even don't spray just the ones that you did make sure the factory's got theirs tight too so make sure around your gauge around your fittings up here Sure you get that one down there that you replaced. There is actually no bubbles. We got sealed tight. So next thing is we'll put our cover back on and this little project is done hope you guys found this informative if you did give it a thumbs up that way we know you you like the content that we're producing and we'll see you guys on the next video thanks for watching bye so as far as the nail we'll go through Got the Amish there and a whistling diesel down that way. Wow, it's a busy day today and the wind blowing now.